Haji Abbas, National President of Mushi Sisala Association, Al Hadi Chief Ibrahim Omoro Mojo, the Representative of Gamanche, Paramount Chief of Abola, Ni Ahene Nuno, the third. Vice Chairman, Board Member, Haji Board Member, Council of Zango Chiefs, Serki Al Haji Chief Jimala, General Secretary, National Council of Zango Chiefs, Naba Nasigiri. The MP was here a few minutes ago, but had to leave because of uh, a pressing uh, circumstance. Ashanti Regional Bushi and Sisala Chief Zerki Al Haji Abdul Hamid Osman. Other chiefs here Alafia, present Alafia. Imam Semalam's youth, our mothers, our sisters, the youth. Like I said in the beginning, we are here, myself and uh, Aziz Futa, the National Nasara Coordinator of the New Patriotic Party, representing the Vice President of the Republic and the flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party, Dr. Al Haji Mahamudu Baumia. This occasion is a very important occasion, which the Vice President himself knows. He himself was wanting to be present and grace the occasion with his presence but due to certain compelling circumstances he himself couldn't come that is why he has delegated us to come and put in an appearance for him first of all we would like to congratulate the association and congratulate the newly installed or the newly esteemed chiefs, especially the leader of the Sisala Grunsi uh, Association. We are proud that such an association has come into being, is being strengthened by the unification of these two tribes or these two ethnic groups, Grunsi and Sisala. But before I wind up my speech on behalf of the Vice President, I will implore, especially the Sisala, the Sisala tribe, to give me 10 wives to be taken to my abode. Otherwise, I want to let you close this ceremony today. The coronation of our chiefs is very very important the reason why we establish or promulgate a law is to ensure peace is to ensure orderliness amongst people and to make sure that development is also prosecuted that is why there is law that is why we try to establish order and the same principle applies to leadership. We have a leader, or we have leaders, because there are certain objectives we have set for ourselves to be executed, to wait, to ensure the promotion of chief, and the promotion of peace, to ensure the promotion and sustenance of security, and to ensure that there is development among the people that are being led. But there is one thing that, on behalf of the Vice President, I would like to plead that it should happen, should be maintained, and should be sustained. Loyalty from the people to our chiefs. Now that we have had new chiefs, their statuses have been changed. Their statuses have been elevated. They are human beings, but they are human beings in a different class. They will need loyalty from the people. They will need commitment from the people.
they will need support from the people and they will need respect from the people we need to respect our chiefs we need to respect our leaders we need to respect our imams the vice president says that he is in full support of this association he has said it many times without number last year last week for instance when he addressed the nation he made it categorically clear that he will want to work with faith-based organizations and we will want to work with our traditional leaders to win the chiefs. He is saying that the Grunzi Sisala Association, he is ready and willing to work with him, inshallah. Whatever your agenda is, whatever your plans are, the Vice President says that he is ready to support the execution of that agenda in order to promote peace amongst you to sustain the peace that you have built and to make sure that whatever development you've set for yourselves, that development is well executed. The Vice President last week did say that his government will be creating a tent, a tent big enough to accommodate everybody, to accommodate the youth, to accommodate the elderly, to accommodate women, to accommodate chiefs, to accommodate priests, and to accommodate everybody. A tent where everybody will have a place to work. A tent where everybody will live in peace. A tent where everybody will have a space to worship. And a tent where everybody will have work to do. That is the kind of atmosphere or tent that the Vice President says that is going to create. He is pleading with all of us here seated and those listening to us from here and afar that we should throw our support behind him. And inshallah, if the Vice President becomes the President, he will never, never disappoint us because he already knows the problems that this country faces and he has a solution to problems that we are facing, inshallah, when he becomes the president, everything will be all right.